Celebrations in Corfu Celebrations are an important part in people's lives. They break the routine of everyday life and make the community's bond stronger. They remind us what must not be forgotten and give us a chance to enjoy our own tradition. Corfu follows the Greek celebrations and customs, but also has some unique events and traditions. Nowadays, in Greece are celebrated even more than birthdays. The tradition stems from adicity when newborn children were named after one of their grandparents so that names could continue down the family line. This tradition served to strengthen the value of a name. According to the Greek Orthodox calendar, its day of the year is dedicated to a saint of martyr, sometimes more than one in the same day. Each saint has a special feast day. On that day, Greeks celebrate their name days, honoring at the same time the saint who they are named after. Birthdays took their place in a family celebration comparatively recently as a Western influence and are celebrated similarly to European ways. Christmas is one of the biggest celebrations of Orthodoxy and its glorious celebration in Corfu is closely linked to Orthodox tradition. Christmas in Corfu is enchanting. The city is adorned with thousands of small lights and the festive spirit is everywhere. On December 24th, children sing the Christmas carols to the neighbors and families with the accompaniment of triangles and small drums to give their song a rhythm. These songs seem to have their roots in the Byzantine era. On Christmas Eve, families in Corfu are used to eat honey with walnuts and dried figs. Greek tradition had it to decorate a boat. Of course, in recent years we follow the Western tradition and it has been customary to decorate a Christmas tree with ornaments and lights. On Christmas Day there is a meal for the whole family with a grilled turkey stuffed with pine nuts, chestnuts and rice. Also available are traditional Christmas sweets, kurapiedes and melomakarna. New Year's Day is usually the exchange of gifts. It is believed that Santa Claus or Saint Basil for us holds a big bag full of gifts and brings his gifts to all children on that day, entering the houses from the chimneys during the night when they sleep. We make a traditional cake on New Year's Eve and put a coin in it. The person who gets the coin in his piece will have a lucky and prosperous year. The leader of the family breaks a pomegranate on the threshold to bring luck and prosperity to the family. January 6th, Christmas time celebration and of the Epiphany. This is the feast of Agatha Fania or Fota, which celebrates the day when the Kalkadzari or hobgoblins that appear during the period of Christmas are rebanished to the netherworld by church rites. During Epiphany, waters are blessed and evil spirits are banished. This great day for the Orthodox is the water sanctification made by the priests of all the churches that throw a cross into the sea and the youth of each parish dive to cast the cross. The lucky one who will cast the cross is blessed and lucky throughout the new year. Carnival is a feast known all around the world. Carnival usually takes place in Greece before the Orthodox Easter, right before the fasting starts. It's a joyful event in which you can dress up as any fictional character you like. People always seem to have fun at Carnival, especially when the parade starts. There you can see a whole bunch of different chariots which are usually themed. In Corfu, there is also another fun activity that many people seem to enjoy, the treasure hunt. Young people dress up as a group and try to solve all the riddles and find all the clues before 7 o'clock. The prize goes to the fastest, the smartest and the most creative team. Another impressive activity in Corfu's carnival is the Nobles Parade, a Venetian influence in which people dress up as dukes, princesses and nobles in the memory of Corfu's old times when only the aristocracy could walk around in the city centre, Cliston. Clean Monday, corresponding to Ash Wednesday, is a public holiday in Greece and it is celebrated with outdoors excursions, the consumption of selfies and other fasting food, as eating meat, eggs and dairy products is traditionally forbidden to Orthodox Christians through Lent. On Clean Monday, we also eat a special kind of Asian bread, baked only on that day, named Lagana, and a smooth appetizer called Taramas, which is preserved at fish row. People go on picnics and keep the widespread custom of flying kites. March 25th, Feast of the Annunciation. 
On this feast, the Christians celebrate the day that angel Gabriel announced Mary the incarnation of Christ. This day coincides with a national holiday in Greece, the day where the Greeks declared the Revolutionary War against the Turks on March 25, 1821. This is why military parades take place that day in all Greek towns. Greek Orthodox Easter is celebrated with a number of events and customs all over the country, but some areas are particularly famous for the special tradition. On Holy Week, Greek home ovens get very busy as traditional fogaccia, a type of fragrant Easter brioche, is baked along with labrocoulura, Easter cookies. Eggs are immersed in red dye, the red color symbolizing the joy of nature's rebirth and the spiritual regeneration that comes with the resurrection of Jesus. The uniqueness of the Corpus Easter customs attracts not only Greek but also foreign visitors. The mix of Greek Orthodox traditions, pagan and Venetian influences, along with the presence of the Catholic community, makes an interesting combination that's beyond your ordinary Easter celebration. The old town of Kofu is host to a number of church ceremonies during the Holy Week, which lead up to the new much anticipated epitaph display and procession. Known for its numerous philharmonic orchestra, the island is also famous for its epitaph ceremonies, which are very passionate and they are accompanied by funeral music. Another unique Corfu Island costume takes place on Holy Saturday morning. This is part of the early resurrection celebration. Balconies around the old town are adorned in bright red cloth. At 11 a.m., when the church bell rings, people throw off their balconies clay pots filled with water. From tiny to super large, plain and painted pots, called bottles, are dropped from various heights while thousands of onlookers applaud and cheer. It's a noisy affair that's accompanied by the orchestra's beats and church bells ringing in the background. The philharmonic groups then parade through the old town's streets playing joyous music. That same night, people go with their candles at the central square and wait for the priest to say, Christ is rising. The resurrection of Christ is celebrated at the Esplanade with fireworks, music and merrymaking until the early morning hours. The festive dinner that is served after the resurrection midnight mass includes magiritsa or tzilichuda soup, a traditional dish prepared in most Greek houses made with chopped offal and herbs. People hold a red egg and crack it with a person next to them claiming at the same time Christ is risen. On Easter Sunday morning, lamb is cured and cooked over charcoal. While waiting, people drink and dance and have a great time. That's Easter in Corfu, a very upbeat, colorful experience full of tradition. May Day is a public holiday. It is a traditional spring holiday in many cultures and it has pagan origins. The custom of May 1st is to decorate the doors of houses with flower wreaths in a way to welcome the power of nature into our home. The wreath is made from various flowers, hand-picked and knitted together. There are many sorts of local festivals in Greece. Festivals have a, a religious base and they are in accordance with the Orthodox calendar. Greek communities everywhere love to dance in couples or in circles. The musicians playing on traditional instruments contribute their rhyme to festivals and parties all year round, but especially during the summer. Saint Spidon and processions in Corfu. Four processions to honor our patron saint take place every year in Corfu. The first procession is on Palm Sunday in remembrance of when Corfu was saved from the plague in 1630. The relics of Saint Spidon are carried along the road where the town was used to be where Saint Spidon stood and banished the plague. The second procession, which is actually older and was established in 1515, is in remembrance of when Saint Spidon saved the island from famine.
It takes place on Easter Saturday morning at the same time as the epitaph from the Church of St. Spiridon. The third procession takes place on the first Sunday of November in remembrance of when Corfu was saved from the plague in 1673 and the fourth on 11 August when the island was liberated from the Turkish siege in 1716. The worshipping event for the memory of St. Spiridon finished on the afternoon of December 13 with the requesting prayers and the basmata, the prayers, for the re-entrance of the holy relic back to its place. There is also the litany of the holy relic in the church for three times to bless the royal Christian. St. Spiridon's Day is a very important celebration in Corfu, maybe as important as Christmas. Almost half of the population carries his name, so every family has one more reason to celebrate. The traditional sweet of the day is called lucumades, and it is a kind of donut dipped in honey and sprayed with cinnamon. You are all gladly invited to spend next year in our country in order to enjoy each and every celebration of our island.